Hey everyone, Chef Shea Bear here. I'm not really a chef, I'm just a guy that likes to cook. My channel name is Shea Bear 1000, so Chef Shea Bear. So anyway, today we're going to be doing another walk video. Um, I will put this on the Walk Wednesday uh, playlist as well. But anyway, so we're going to make some stir fry and walk. I've made uh, similar uh, meals like this before in the past, but it was in uh, camping videos. So I'm going to go ahead and make it for you tonight. So let's get started. guys I'm just going to start by cutting up some of these uh, I got two or six cloves of garlic now a lot of people don't like it don't add it a lot of people really really like it add more if you want add less it's the thing about a recipe it's you know it's your creation you know and all I'm going to do I'm just going to just chop them up like that. This one looks a little there we go. Yeah, you know. Just gonna cut it up. Garlic's good for your heart. Always keep some garlic around if you can. Sometimes, a lot of times I don't. I'll think I have it, and I'll forget it, or forget to have monkey pick it up. And you know, she'll say, "Well, I'm going to store to you. Do you want anything?" And I'll be like, "No, I'm good." So, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of cut these up a little bit whatever size you want and however you want you can mince it if you want but today I'm just going to cut them up like that and we'll get those in the fire but first I'm going to get these cut up I'm going to put them in a little cup like this and then we'll get the uh, I'll show you what meat I'm going to use today. So let me get these cut up and then we'll cut up the meat. Okay, so this is the meat we're using. There's seven ounce. She got three of these. These are from the Dollar Tree. Uh, hot, smoked since 1827. So this is John Morrell. Hot smoked sausage made with chicken and pork. So skinless and extra tender. Okay, now we we haven't tried these before, so I thought, well, let's give them a shot, and if we like them, that's great. We can this would this would be good to to cook on a fire, put on a bun length hot dog, and uh, or put on a bun length hot dog bun. It's supposed to, this is easy open. You just uh, peel this back, so that's why I left this one unopened to show you. It's real easy to open, but. Yeah, and put some coney sauce on them. But we're what we're going to do, we're just going to cut these up. Because we're going to be stir frying with them. So I'm just going to get them. Just, uh... Just going to kind of cut them up like that. Like I said, they're 7 ounce each. $1.25. Um... I use the bar S from the Dollar Tree and there was four of them in it and they were eight ounce pack I used those before and they were really good so keep that in mind so yeah we're just going to get these cut up here you can add onions to this dish, but the reason why I'm not is because there should be onions in the vegetable packs that we're going to put in that came from the Dollar Tree as well. So there we go. These are cut up ready. I got some water boiling for the noodles. 
Alright, so these are ready. Now let's go over here to the stove. Okay, so I'm going to show you what else I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this. I believe this is from the Dollar Tree and this is too. Soy sauce and the teriyaki sauce. And uh, this is salt free seasoning because they can't have a lot of salt. So she said, you know, she sent me a picture, so you want to try this? I said, sure. So we'll give this a try. This is very good seasoning here. And of course, we have my favorite. This is the best. Now, they were out of this at the Dollar Tree. So she got this at Publix or Winn Dixie. And it was $1.69. Same exact amount. Three and a half ounces. Same company. Uh, complete seasoning the same exact thing you can get this at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 they just happen to be out of it but that just goes to show you one store can sell it the same exact thing this no bigger no smaller it's the same exact thing same exact stuff you can get the Dollar Tree for $1.25 is $1.69 somewhere else okay then we're gonna have oops, we're gonna have these wide lamine noodles those are going to go over in the pan here in just a minute. Water's getting ready. And then I got two of these. Stir Fry. TJ Farms. Select. This Stir Fry blend. $1.25. I got two of them. Those are also at the uh, Dollar Tree. So we're pretty much doing everything with Dollar Tree stuff. So um, let me get you ready. Let me get this heated up. We'll get our, um, our garlic in there and we'll get it starting to cook and then we'll throw the meat in okay I'm just gonna put some vegetable oil in here I don't know what kind it is she puts it in this um, I like regular oil like Wesson or you know cornola but she likes um, extra virgin olive oil so that's what I'm going to use for her so I'm gonna let this heat up for a second and then we'll put our garlic in okay let's go ahead and put our garlic in there's our garlic. <laughs> We're on one. So I'm just going to cook this for a couple minutes just till it starts changing colors. But in the meantime, I'm going to add two cubes of chicken boiling cube you can use beef whatever you want lamb I'm gonna stir that up and I'll kick you back on a second I'm not gonna drain this I'm just gonna put the meat right in okay now we're gonna put a little bit of our soy sauce in here and scrape that up off the bottom there we go the stuff on the bottom makes like a gravy let's get our meat get our meat put in here whoa one escape another one escape okay now we'll stir this up Add a little bit more of this now I'm gonna try this I tried a little bit of this stuff in my hand I'm gonna tell you what if you guys can't have salt I highly recommend this very good has a good flavor has a good smell oh my I can smell that already then of course we're gonna put my favorite in cook this up I'm going to add a little bit of this stuff. Memphis style barbecue. Now, it says barbecue. It doesn't have a barbecue flavor. Just Memphis style barbecue. Okay? So we're going to add this or stir this up. Now, I'm going to add, if I can get it open, I'm going to add some of our teriyaki sauce put 
And I'm just going to cook these just like you would hot dogs when they start puffing out at the ends, getting round at the ends. That's when we'll add our, our vegetables. Then we'll take everything out once we get the vegetables. Really, vegetables, um, I know they say kind of parboil your vegetables first. I never have, never had a problem with it. I just go, just until I try a piece, just until they're, they're you know, hot. And, but uh, then we'll take, we'll take it out and we'll, um, we'll do, we'll stir fry our noodles. It only takes like 30, 40 seconds and then we'll mix everything together. So stick around. Okay, now I'm just going to add these straight in here. I won't have to add anything else because there's enough juices in there and that meat. I'm going to give it a stir. I will put the lid on. Like I said, I'm just going to let these let these cook, but you don't want them changing color. If they start changing color, <coughs> excuse me, take them off right away. But they are frozen, so I am going to let them cook with the, kind of like let them simmer with the lid on. I don't know, just till they get, you still want them kind of have a little crunch to them, you know, kind of like steaming them. You don't want to overcook your vegetables. So, I'll be back with you when these are ready. We'll take this stuff out, we'll put the noodles in with just what's left in the pan, stir fry them for about 30 seconds, we'll mix it all together, and then we'll give it a shot. Okay, so, just going to put this in here look at the gravy this makes you can separate that you know use your spoon with the holes in it and then you'll have a bunch of nice gravy left over to pour over like rice i'm not a big rice eater i don't mind it it's just not my favorite a monkey likes to eat that uncle ben's rice or ben's now but i'm going to say what it used to be uncle ben's and dump some of this gravy over it it'll really flavor that rice and then put you a couple spoonfuls of this stuff on top of it damn I'm making a mess guys Let's get our uh, our noodles. Let me wipe this up first. All right, we're going to get our noodles put in here. So these are just going to stir fry for about 30 seconds. I'm just going to keep stirring them. I'm going to use this. You can see the gravy that really colors that, the noodles. Use whatever noodles you want. Use regular egg noodles if you want. Hands got oily because of the noodles. Because while they're sitting and waiting, uh, I drizzle a little bit of oil over them so they don't stick together and clump up. That's monkey, I'll bet you she's on her way. Yep, going home now. <laughs> All right, cool. Just in time. All right, so this is about ready. So let me go ahead. I will add a little bit more of this stuff in there. Then we're going to dump everything back in. You don't have to mix it all together. I just do. You know, you can take some noodles out and then put some of the stuff on top of the noodles if you want. I just always mix them together because we all like the same stuff. So, all right, guys, I'll be right back. Let me get the stuff and we'll dump it in here and we'll give it a shot and see what it tastes like. Now, as you can see, our noodles got some nice color on them. 
I let them go for about a minute that time. Let's go ahead and dump this in here. And I'm going to use my noodle spoon and I'm just going to mix all this together and I'll bring you back with some of this on a plate and we'll give it a try. Maybe Monkey will be back because she's only like five minutes away in the hospital so she's visiting her mom. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll do that and then uh, maybe she'll be back in time to try it. If not, we'll give it a try. I'm sure it's good. Like I said, I've made it before with different things. You can use chicken. You don't have to use any meat. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll pour a little bit of beef broth or chicken broth in here. Yummy. Okay, so stick around, guys. And there's what it looks like. Now we could, uh, you can add, <clears throat> like if it's for one person, one bag of noodles, one bag of those, um, the vegetables and probably even maybe just one meat stick or just one bag of the two which is seven ounces um, but there's two of us I probably should have added a little bit more vegetables probably should have added another bag but you know it's up to you how many how many are you cooking for you know and remember vegetables do cook down but those look pretty good so yeah we'll see what monkey thinks of it okay monkey's back say hi monk hey how's your mom She's hanging in there. Okay. All right, time to give your stuff a shot. It shouldn't be cold. I just put it out a minute or two ago. <coughs> All right. Ready? <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Taste your, uh, one of your vegetables there. Mm-hmm. You found them okay? Yeah, they were in the freezer. That's <laughs> where frozen food goes. <laughs> Very good. I was looking on that uh, one where we camped out. I must have used a different kind of sausage. Oh, did you? Yeah, I had to have. Because mm. it kind of looked like meatballs. What about when Dixie then? I don't know. Mm. Okay, guys, so there you go. I'm going to get my food and we're going to eat. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're going to eat. <laughs> if I don't splatter all over the floor. So, I'm going to have my dinner with Monkey. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it, Monk. Monkey says she's out for now. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Don't forget to check out her channel, Monkey1000. You can get through to her from my channel. So, we'll see you guys in the next one. Shea Bear, the Myth Man, Legend. Chef Shea Bear, uh, Walk Wednesday. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>